Hi everybody and welcome back to Ibex Running. I'm Coach Rachel and today we have a climb 330 workout for you. I'll explain what that means in a minute but if you miss any speed or incline changes I don't want you to worry because we're going to have all that displayed for you to see on your screen right over here. And then if you look over onto the opposite side of your screen you're going to see this nice long progression and that's going to show you where we are from start to finish through this whole entire workout. We are going to get sweaty so make sure you have a towel and a water bottle handy and if you are ready to get sweaty let's look down at that tread hit that start button in three in two and one here we go we start right off at our pace three three right 330 so we're staying here the whole entire time and we're at a two five for the incline right off the bat all right so i want to say i did this workout like six seven i can't even say it was a it was a pretty decent amount of time ago it was a walking workout it was lauren geraldo's 12 30 30 12 3 30 workout okay so what we did is we walked for 30 minutes straight on a 12 incline okay and it was sounds simple enough right there's not much going on probably the most hand to date the hardest walking workout I've ever done for Ibex running, right? And all we did was walk on an incline the whole entire time. There's mentally, like just not being able to touch the handlebars on that 12 incline and staying there was really tough, okay? So this is our version to build ourselves up to that. So everything today is 90 seconds long and every 90 seconds we increase our incline by 0.5 okay so this pace we stay the same we're not walking faster right we're not walking slower from here on out we stay on the three and then we're going to take it up to a three on the incline in three two and one so just like that we are already already off and running okay i know mine are like beep, quick little tabs so if i if i'm not looking i'm going from like three to six on that incline fast so every 90 seconds just stick with me and we increase our incline it's gonna start feeling pretty tricky in the next like five or six minutes honestly because once for me when we get to the incline I want to say around like six or seven is where I start to feel like it's more challenging you see your hamstrings are on fire your glutes are on fire I do like highly encourage everybody, even if you are a runner, to add like a walking workout in. A little bit softer on the joints, right? We're not really just banging up and down. And you're getting so many more benefits. We have 30 more seconds. We go to our second, second up. I don't know what that means. <laughs> even I didn't even know what that means. Our second increase in incline, okay? In 20 seconds, we go three, five on that incline. I know it's gonna go by fast. And you get to just hang out with me. We get just to talk and like figure out how life is, you know? We go in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, just 3, 5 on the incline. That's it. Beep. All right. We're coming out of the sweet spots. Okay? This is the sweet spot. Once we get to 12, we take it right back to our flat road for the last 30 seconds. So it's just a steady climb to the top the whole workout. There's no recovery moment. There's no coming down. When we start picking it up, we stay up. When we're up, we're up. Okay? That's Cardi B. I'm not a singer. We should know this. 30 seconds. No, minute. Minute left. Minute left here. We take it up a notch. I know. This is one you're going to be like, it's a, I'm going to call it the silent creeper because you'll be sore, right? Your hamstrings are going to be sore. You ever go for a hike and you're not used to hiking? How much your hamstrings are sore the next day from the constant climb and push through? You're going to feel that. You're going to love it too. <laughs> yep. Hard for a different reason, okay? Mentally tough because you're not supposed to touch the handlebars too. So... Whenever you feel you want to grab on, hold on to something and lean back, don't. Fight that urge because we're working everything to stay straight up, right? You're activating your core to hold your posture. If you lean back, you're cheating, okay? You know cheaters here. Get out of here. Hit the road. We're going up again. 
four on that incline in three, two, one, pick it up. I went too hard. I went too fast. We're just on the floor. <sighs> Still in the sweet spot, okay? We're all gonna hit that one spot. I think it's around six, okay? So we have like a couple more minutes before we start to freak out. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm not kidding because it's not gonna you think like the pace is enjoyable now I don't know I like these like I'm sick and demented though because I'm like really thoroughly excited to get to the point where it starts to burn my hamstrings where my calves are on fire I know you are too yeah it's okay guys it's okay we can be crazy together it's a crazy girl Alright, I just a lot of time to drink water before we get started though. <sighs> Delicious. You know? It's one of these workouts so you can my have white claw in there. I don't know. I don't know. Definitely not mango one though. I'm just kidding. Just the water. <sighs> 20 seconds, we do it again. Our incline goes from four to four five. Pump those arms. Dance it out. Ooh. Singing skills, none. Dancing skills, 100. Five, four, three, two. Pick it up, four, five. Get a little steeper. You can almost start to feel like your lower abdominals start to activate. You're like, eat, eat, engaged. Yeah. Wonder like what a 12 incline looks like in real life. Is that hill like this? It like this what if it's just literally like me <laughs> it doesn't even look like a hill because sometimes like when you run outside that's like the tricky part right when you're on your treadmill it's keeping your pace so it doesn't change so you're not picking up or slowing down so you also visually cannot see some incline sometimes you could be on a road and it could be consistently just going uphill you don't even want to see it one minute left all right we're going from a four five to a five. Uh oh, here it comes. We got 30 seconds left though. Seven minutes into the workout. Remember, it's only a 30 minute workout here. 30 minutes walking up that hill. The last 30, so it's 30 minutes, 30 seconds. The last 30 seconds is when we take it down to our flat road and you get your legs back. Until then, your legs, they're not yours. <laughs> 10 seconds we take it up in eight seven six five four three two take it up I have to openly admit that I don't think about walking too much on my own but when I do I'm like you know what I get so excited that I've done it I'm like I feel good about myself because I talk about it a lot we come onto these the treadmill we are we don't have a limited amount of time usually so you try to get us most in. Try to go as hard as you can. And then some days your body's just not there, right? And so I'm, every time my body's not there, I always feel guilty when I'm on take the rest day. But if I did something like this, there's no guilt, right? It's still challenging, challenging in a different way. But it doesn't also freak yourself out that you have to go think about giving 100%. Because sometimes it's not even the physical. It's like you, you have to think about motivating yourself to get to that place. That's the hard part. It's not the actual doing work. 30 seconds, we do it again. All right, it's coming. It's coming. Five, five. That six oh is coming. I see it's looking at me right in the eye. As the sad thing is, is when we get there, we're only halfway there. <laughs> I know. 15 seconds. Pump it up, pump it up. It's not so bad, right? Not so bad yet. All right. See what you're doing here. We're going five, four, three, two. All right. Hopefully walk a couple miles. Probably you need to pick up the pace, I would think, in order to complete probably only gonna get like a mile and a half at this pace so if it's super easy I do think 4.0 is a 15 minute mile which means you would get two in 
Look at me doing math, huh? huh? Somebody has been studying. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Oh, I've been on the treadmill quite a bit in my lifetime. Can you tell? Oh, um, but I think 4.0 will give you the pace to get two miles in in this 30 minutes. So if it says three. We're staying with three, okay? We ain't that crazy. But if you ever want to do this again uh, on your own, and you're like, I really, you're like a, a number person like me, like the miles matter, I do believe four would work for that. All right, 30 seconds, and there we go. We're going, level number six. I'm opening the door. I'm walking through, right? That's why I feel like I'm going through um, the moment when Stranger Things, where they go down that rope, and are in the upside down. <laughs> this is it here, okay? Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, add on point five. We're six on that incline now. See, I instantly was like, oh, now I feel like I have to work for it. That's the point, right? It's not like, it doesn't always have to be super easy, but there's a point where we're gonna have to think about holding this pace, right? Working for it. That's the work part, that's the fun part. All right, one minute here. Nice arm swings, right? Squeeze your glutes as you push back. Press through the heel. Don't forget to breathe. Good, squeezing that core. Dancing it out. Gotta turn the music up. I wish I had a volume button. Kinda into this song, okay. I'm into those chill vibes. Anytime you go on Spotify, it's like low-key chill, low-key beats, chill vibes. Those are the, <laughs> the, the playlists I'm listening to. It's got to be mellow. I'm going to be in a mellow mood all day. How about you guys? What do you walk to? What do you run to? I'd like to know. We could maybe put that in the background. You guys ready to do it again? In 10, 6, 5. In 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, pick it up. This is a good one too. You don't even want to listen to anything, you should put a movie on, you know? Right now, I always like, like I wanna be the person that can run and watch a show at the same time. I feel like it would be the best of both worlds. Like I'm multitasking at, the, at that point. They catch up on something I'm really into. But the constant like running, <laughs> And like this, like, I can't, I can't do it. I wish I could. So maybe here, since you're not bouncing so much, it's like a good compromise. Okay, we're coming up. Coming up again. Yeah, well actually, we got about a little more, or a little less than a minute. I'm just now knowing we're in the danger zones. <laughs> good. Where are we at? 13 minutes in, almost halfway through. Here comes all the fun stuff, okay? It's like we're walking on the beat. Oh my God. We did that, right? Don't feel like work when you dance on it. Imagine you're walking down the street and you just see somebody. <laughs> like, yo, they live in their best life right there. 10 seconds. I love when I see people dancing in the streets. I've only seen it a couple times. I think I told you guys once. Here we go, three, two, one, seven on that incline. I know this woman was like listening to some Zumba music and she was like, uh, 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 uh. like walking down the road. I was like, get it girl, get it. Oh, it's all love right there. When you see people enjoying their lives, not having a care in the world, I care what people think. That's what it's about right there. Okay? How are we feeling? Getting a little bit more challenging? Not so bad yet. All right. All right, see? You see how even my own mind plays tricks on me? I thought six and seven were going to freak me out. Obviously, it's going to get harder. But I got myself at the end of the day. You got you at the end of the day. And you also got me. So, you're winning. You got more. I know I got you. I'm just kidding. All right, let's keep walking. 
squeeze, squeeze. Did we take it up already again? Seven five. If we go, if we're already on a seven five, I jumped the shark too early. 15 seconds. If not, then that was the quickest 90 seconds to date. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Oh my God, that was the quickest 90 seconds ever. All right, so 15 minutes in, 15 minutes to go. How are we feeling? Does the pace almost feel like it uh, feels a little bit faster? Because as we incline, right, our strides have to get a little bit shorter, so you're moving your feet a little bit quicker. It's kind of normal. So don't freak out. Pace is still the same. Still working. Okay? 90 seconds, 60 seconds to go. We go again. Take it out of that 7.5. We go into the 8. Ooh, ooh. 8. 8.5. 9, 9, 5, 10, 10, 5, 11, 11, 5, 12, we're done. That's it. Only that many left. <laughs> You're like, I'll never run with Rachel again. <laughs> Just kidding, guys. Come on. I'm starting to feel it, right? Woo, I got the heat tingles. You think there's like a moment, right? And your body just goes, and it feels like the heat button turned on. I get like a sensation through my arms. I'm like, okay, sweat is about to happen. You guys ready to do it again? We take it up in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Take it up. Good. Eight on that incline. Walk, 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 walk. I don't know, feels appropriate. Oh, so check in with your body. Are you leaning a little bit too far forward? Or are you like a, a Sasquatch? We have stand up tall, right? Activate the core. Draw the shoulders down and back. Swing the arms. Walk, bigger strides, squeeze those glutes, okay? That's how we stay focused. <clears throat> Honestly, this workout is going by so fast. It's like a breeze, right? Because by the time we finish this one, we're pretty much only got like 12 minutes left, 10 minutes left of the workout. It's 12 minutes in my head. It's only 10 minutes. Those two minutes, for some reason, do not exist. So I know they're real, but it's closer to two, and I'm rounding up the estimation type of system we got going on here. So we're gonna take it up eight, five, 15 seconds. You ready to go? We're in the danger zone in 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Let's go take it up, eight, five. Remember, we're not holding on to the handlebars. Do what you gotta do. You wanna make it a little harder? You have like those one pound, pound weights. Whew. Activate the upper abs a little bit more. This is great too for people who are older, right? Challenging in a different way. Remember, a body motion stays in motion. Sometimes, as we age, we wanna do less and less and less. You got this one body though, man. Can't stress it enough. Gotta be good to it. You gotta eat well, sleep well, and you gotta let it move, right? And not just like the hard stuff too. Sometimes like, you know, you gotta make sure we can open are fully, you know how many times I teach yoga also, and I'm, I see people who can't extend their arms fully, right? You don't have to go a whole lot every single day is my point. If this is you, right? Your goal is just to have full extension of the arms. Practice there. You don't have to start saying I wanna exercise and now I need to go run a marathon, right? If you can't fully rotate and move in the skin you're in, it's gonna be a lot harder for you to, to start a marathon. Let's get our body so that, our, that we are in charge of it. Let's get us back to the basic first. All right, 15 seconds. Rant over. <laughs> love your body. It will love you back. Seven, six, 
Five, four, three, two. Oh, oh we're in the nine. Mm-hmm. We're in the nine. Okay, 20 seconds. We only have 10, to 10 minutes left, okay? It's nice. It's a nice pace. I think if I was, I like that it's a little bit slower. I think if I was walking super fast, if I was walking out like the forest where my normal walk pace would be, I would have been gassed by now. I do feel the full extension, right? As I push through, my glutes start to activate. My hip flexors are activating. Otherwise, it's like you're walking real fast. You're like, dee -dee 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 -dee. all right, 40 seconds, we do it again. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six more climbs. Piece of cake, okay? I know, you're starting to feel them. Starting to feel like work. Grab some water here, because it's only gonna get higher and steeper, okay? 15. Oh yeah, nine, five, ooh, baby. When we get to that 10, eight, seven, <clears throat> six, five, four, three, two, nine, five. <clears throat> Beautiful job, guys. Keep going, keep going, keep going. <sighs> Don't hold on to that breath. <sighs> Even in the slower pace walk, right? Still work. <sighs> if you're not gonna start here, where are you gonna start though? Like these, you're like, okay, I'm gonna start with a good wor workout. This is, this is where you start. Let's do this a couple days a week. It's fun, I promise. Everybody's doing it. We got one minute left. We go to our 10 zone. I wonder if she stays up on this, right? Cause this was the first time we did it. Lauren Geraldo, messages, let us know. Are you staying up on this? You've been doing this one? What are you doing now? Huh? You running now? You do all this on a, at a five oh? Could you imagine? <laughs> 30 seconds. We pump it up again. Imagine running at a five oh at a 10 incline. We gotta start doing that now. Next week's episode. It's when Rachel wants to be mean. Haha, <laughs> that's what we call Rose comes out to play. She the mean one, okay? Smile to ego. We go on three, two, pick it up. Here we go, magic number 10. Okay, 10, 10, 5, 11, 11, 5, 12. You got this. Ooh, it all feels like work. The butt never gets a moment to untense, right? This thing of beautiful booties. Booty one, booty two, and boom, 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 boom. I ain't got no booty. Oh, here we go, let's build it. Are you growing yet? Yes, maybe. Let's go too. I was born, gift of gab, no booty. Can't all get what we want, okay? Let's go. Pump it up, pump it up, pump it up, pump it up. <sighs> All right. <sighs> How are you feeling, guys? You're okay. You're okay. Well, you can see the tippy top of the mountain now, right? It's like the sun. The sun's gonna set when we get to the top. It's like a beautiful sunset. We just gotta walk there. 20 seconds. We well, get to go. I can feel it, man. My back sweat. Get that little drip. The bead of sweat that goes down your back. 15 seconds, we take it up again. Last four coming up. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Dun, 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 Got it, guys. Come on. Come on. Come on. Six minutes left of the workout. Four more rounds. You guys like to hike outside? It's like frigid 
in New Jersey now. Like two days ago, it was like 60 something degrees. It was the middle of February right now. It's like 60 degrees. I came out today, 20 something degrees. <laughs> I said, you gotta make up your mind, okay? Because I was so into it, I was committed to that 60 degree weather. And now you just mess with my heartstrings. And now it's 30 degrees or lower, and I'm not a fan, okay? How am I supposed to work out outside? Walk outside. If I would have known it was going to be 60 degrees that day. You got 30 seconds. I've been hiking up the tops of those mountains. Ooh, if you guys got good, I'm a big into hiking. Let me know. In the U.S., where are some good hiking trails? All right, I'll travel. I'll travel to them. My goal in life is to run everywhere in the world. Not everywhere, but like do a race in like different places around the world. Just so you can change up the scenery. You ever like see those green screens when you're like, they're just running? Really, even on your Peloton, it has like this, the scene scape where you're riding your bike on different places. Imagine you get to experience that in real life. Cause I do enjoy it. I enjoy working out, enjoy running. And I join new places, why not? I would like to see pictures, man. Some cool hiking trails waterfalls did we pick it up pick it up was I talking too much I think so I think so should be on 11 you're welcome guys don't get excited cuz we got one minute we're taking up to 11 5 we're already oh my god what was that what I'm somehow getting taller though look at this am I still on screen it was like a Wilson moment where half of my screen is, half my face is gone. 30 seconds, we go 11 5. 11 5, 12 0. All right. I might have like literally freaked myself out. This workout, I like it. I like it. The build up is nice. All right? 15 seconds. Good. You know, walking on incline burns more belly fat. I read it somewhere. Not on Snapple cap, okay? A real fact on the internet. Three, two, take it up. 11, five, 90 seconds. 90 seconds here. And then we take it to our 12. Just like a little bit wider of a stride, you know? Come on, come on. Your butt cheeks squeezing, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. It's a different type of work. It's like a patient. You have to be patient to walk up hills. It's like you know you can't do it fast as you gas yourself out. And you want to get up the hill. So you have to get a pace that's like, it's the juicy pace, okay? Not too fast, not too slow. So you still want to get to the top of the hill in like a good time. This is probably the right pace for it. You guys almost ready? All right. 50 seconds. We take it to our last one. I know. Uh, I know. Still got 50 seconds. <sighs> Beautiful job. Keep it up. Keep it up. Come on. Come on. 20 seconds. <sighs> we go to our 12. I mean, I would imagine everybody. You walked up a hill for 30 minutes straight when you get to the top. You definitely need, like some sort of victory dance, so feel free. Three, two, 12 on that incline. Ooh, this new tread goes past 12. How's it go up to? 15! Goes up to 15. Go! Oh, next week's episode. Hey, we got a new tread. If you didn't know, the buttons are different, the inclines are different. And we're gonna have some fun with it. You guys ready? Guess what? One minute left. Let's go. He's starting to count on the last 60 seconds. We're going to the top of that hill, breathing in that fresh air. After this, you have 30 seconds. It's gonna take you all 30 seconds to come off that 12 incline. We take it down to our flat road. We're almost there. Come on, come on, come on.
40 seconds left, let's work. Yeah, this workout though with the vibes, this is a moment. I don't really listen to the music too much. This one went perfect. Hope you're in a good mood now. 15 seconds, we take it down. Picked up your endorphins. Yeah, a little bit. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, flat row. Flat row, good job team. Just 30 seconds to take it down. So, we have a new thing that we do here. We're keeping ourselves accountable, keeping us together as a family, right? So, once you finish this workout, here is the emoji of the day. It changes so you can't cheat and just pick the emoji from the last video. Just text this emoji into the comments. Hit that stop button in four, three, two, one. We're done already. Hit that stop button. Emoji in the comments. You see anybody else with the same emoji? Give them a high five. Tell them congratulations. We're doing the same thing. We're staying together as a crew, all right? This is Ivex Running. I'm Coach Rachel. This was our Climb 330 workout, and I'll see you next time.